going to do a review on DealDash.com. First of all, their bids really are not 60 cents. I've never seen them actually sell them for 60 cents. They just always have an excuse to put them on sale at, for the most, 15 cents. That just They just make it 60 cents, I think, just to make the bid packs seem like they're worth more money. And so, that if you only buy a bid pack for, let's say, um, let's say 40 bids, I mean, um, 300 bids for $40, they'll say you saved a certain amount of money, though in reality, like when I bought my bid pack during like their Christmas and summer promotion, they like, they always have something, but I got like 400, no, three, 300 bids for forty dollars, and so and that that's pretty normal. They sell it like it goes down every day, and then when it gets to thirteen or twelve cents, it restarts back to fifteen. So we we'll say, oh, this deal is ending soon. Okay, but then you have uh, when I first got onto a website, I was easily able to get three gift cards, three ten dollar gift cards, and. Like th this one I bought, it was originally like a, a um, Burger King one, but I didn't feel like getting it out of my wallet. But it was a Burger King one, Walmart, and Dunkin' Donuts. And when I first got into the website, those were the first three things I won. Twice with no competition. Like the th one of those, uh, with one of those cards, I like had one person bid, and then I was easily, I bid on top of them once. And it was half off, so I still only had to pay a penny for it. And those free auctions where I say they pay for it, they, you still have to pay them some. It's only a penny, but still. But what, because I got three things at once, $30, and I spent 40 and I was like, wow, I made all but $10 of my money back. I'm, that's, um, so I, I already have a good deal. Thing is, it is never going to be that easy again. So they claim to be fair and honest, but if you go to their Facebook page, they will have a whole bunch of people saying like the same thing like oh I got a ten dollar Walmart card or Burger King card or Dunkin Donuts card or all three like for one penny each and so many people are doing that that it is like it is like ridiculous but I don't think I think that that's just something they do when you like first joined the site because that'll never happen again, <laughs> again or at least not that easily and so the only times I've won like I won a candle that was for, worth forty dollars or they say which is ridiculous it's a candle it's wax with a string in it but I trade that in for bids then I got a necklace that I only wanted the chain for to match like a pendant I already had and I was going to sell the um the other little uh pendant part on eBay but it came with a note saying to not resell and I was like oh well that's half the reason I bought it so and when you go to eBay if you find something on that website that you want and you don't want to have too much competition the people who win it typically put it on eBay for a pretty good discounted price so like it like the other people who won the same necklace we're putting up the, and the necklace like retails for $150. They were putting it up there for like uh, like $50 or like um or like $100. So, if you want to just get it without any competition at a good price, you can just go on eBay from people who do win it. And I currently uh there's I'm currently like selling the pendant like I said on there. But anyway, um thing is uh they aren't really as honest as they claim to be because there was this um, thing I was bidding on Verdict Power Bank and I put my little um, bids in and was just letting it automatically bid for me and it got to a point where not only did the clock reach a zero but it stayed on zero for an entire second but someone was still allowed to bid on top of me which is not supposed to be the way it works and I contacted them never heard back from them to this day, that it hasn't, it's been like, I think like a week, maybe, maybe that's a stretch, but still, I just got an email from them saying, oh, you're not supposed to be reselling our stuff on eBay, so I'm like, 
Okay, you don't. You just ignore me. I I contacted you through the site and through your Facebook page about how they how you all just let someone bid on top of me for an item I should have won. Like that gets ignored for several days to a week. But when you read my review about how how I was supposed to win that item, yet you let other people bid on top of me even though I technically already won it and and so I'm like well, if you have that time to be contacting me about that you could at least bring that up in the same message just ignoring that so all in all I bought like a couple of gift cards like one of these IHOP just to get some bids back but profit wise not not really anyway, I like I bought two gift cards just for the for my bids back. Got three other ten dollar gift cards for for like a penny and I spent not including the two gift cards that I bought forty dollars. So I'm kinda of be out of ten dollars and that even including the the power bank which retails for like over two hundred dollars that should have been mine that they let someone else bid on top of even though I technically won it but uh yeah um all in all it, I, I like at this point I've run out of bids and I do not intend to purchase any more bids from them I, I'm not I'm just done with the website do not recommend it because so, if you want gift cards that badly, you can just go ahead and buy them for the exact same price and are guaranteed to get them. So, so unless you're trying to get like a really expensive item, which the chance in the in this thing, the more an item is wanted, the less chance you have of actually getting it. So, like I said, you see something on that website you want. You have a better chance just going on eBay looking for it because, like I said, people who win stuff from that site often put it on eBay even though they say that, that that's not allowed. They do it anyway. So did I. Um, so, uh, yeah. All in all, I would not recommend Dale Dash.